Hi, and thank you for watching. On today's show, we're going to show you how to watch video from your iPhone on your new Kenwood. So stay tuned. So today's show, we're going to talk about watching video off of an iPhone and an iPhone only. We will have a second video for that other guy. Okay, so what do you need to watch video from an iPhone on your new Kenwood radio? First things first, you need to make sure your Kenwood radio has an HDMI input, right. which will be clearly marked on the box. Somewhere it'll say HDMI. So two, if you don't have an HDMI input, we do have a video up that'll show you how to do that. That's the second one. Uh, just go look for that. I believe it's called like watching uh, video on any radio. It's universal, it'll work on all radios. Okay, now what do I need? First things first, you need a lightning to HDMI adapter. Now, there again, break in action. We'll have links to all these cool products that you need in the show notes below, so that if you're like, oh, what do I need? It'll be there. Yes. Secondly, you'll need an HDMI cable. Kenwood makes one. It is called the KCA HD100. Now, why do we want to use that cable as opposed to any old generic HDMI cable? You can. There's no one saying that you can't. Nice thing about this cable, it is car rated, which means it will work at and will not fall apart in high temperatures. We like to use this cable. We're here in Florida. Florida. Uh, we know some of the other guys get hot like we do. Uh, you just don't get that cool humidity that makes us sheeny. Uh, anyways, it is made to work in those hot, nasty environments and will not fall apart. So. Most of you guys like to put these in your dashes and never have to take them out. Spend the extra money to buy the better cable. If you like to take yours out every year or every other year, whatever works for it. That's not to say that some of these cables out there, so you don't need to tell me I bought this cable and it never fell apart. Cool. We know they exist. This is just easy. So we have the HDMI cable and we have the adapter. Now really all we need to do is plug the two in. It does have an input for a lightning cable. If you want, you can use... Uh, the USB, a cigarette lighter, any USB source you want. It is not mandatory, meaning it's not needed in order to watch video. It's only there for charge. The other thing too is a lot of you guys like to ask, can I do CarPlay through this? Meaning can I just plug this in and do CarPlay? The answer is no. How this cable is designed to work is that it's just an authentication chip here and a receiver here and all this does is charge. No data comes over this. So it's unfortunate right now. No, no CarPlay. So what do we want to do? Well, we just want to plug this bad plug boy in. Plug it in. Plug it in. We'll unlock the phone. Now let's take a look at the face of the radio. Okay, so what you want to do is select the HDMI icon as a source. Now if yours isn't here because you've rearranged your three favorites, go ahead and tap here. And then it'll show all yours. Go ahead and touch. So now you'll see your phone. Go ahead and wake it back up again. Go ahead and auto-rotate. So go over here and we'll pick a movie. Come over to Netflix. It's going to go ahead and launch Netflix. Uh, go ahead and press play. Your phone is going to go ahead and say this thing right here, and then there you go, you're watching Netflix. Now as you can see, it's going to screen share anything that's on the phone. So from here if you want to watch maps, you can pull those up, pull up any navigation app you want. So if you want to pull up this guy right here, you can do that. Keep in mind all this is doing is displaying, it's not actually controlling anything there's no there's no control going on nothing so you get the idea this allows you to watch anything that's on your phone on the face of the radio now a couple things to know about HDMI on these radio tell me I know right how exciting it is not a passable source which means if you're playing HDMI video I know right it's not passable Sounds like something that happened. Yeah, we won't go there. Anyways, um, 
if you're watching an HDMI video on the radio, it will not come out of the video output of the radio to an overhead or headrest monitors. HDMI is not a convertible to regular coax output. So these cool little yellow things that say video out on them, it will not pass the HDMI out to that. Um, sorry guys. If you do wanna do that, you can get the iSimple Media Links. The iSimple Media Links has a standard RCA and it'll plug into the uh, AV inputs on the back of the radio and you can plug in HDMI there. We'll have a separate video showing you how to do that when we show you how to do the rear seat entertainment. Um, so stay tuned to that. We good? Yes, sir. All right, wrap it up. So, All right, so thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, we appreciate it. Got questions, ask them, we'll answer them. May pick a day. Um, if you like, subscribe. Put puts a smile on Fernando's face. I know, right? Oh. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great night. We'll see you later next time. Bye.